it is me and my tea again and a very happy vlogmas to everybody and as you can probably tell by the title of this video Owl Crate has arrived early. Woo -woo. I am so excited. This month's theme is Star Crossed, so it is the December 2022 box, the last box of the year. This is crazy. The year's gone by so quickly. So without any more further ado, with trusty pocket knife, let us get into our Owl Crate box. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is an awesome monthly YA subscription box, and every month you get a brand new book signed by the author and a lot of fun bookish goodies. And are we ready? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Here we have the inside. Oh, yes. And as River Song would say, we have our spoilers. So let's set those aside for right now. And, ooh, I see lots of goodies inside, yay! Okay, so first thing I see right off on the top is number 12 of 12. This is our last literary luggage pin, and it's crazy, it's gone by so quickly. So let's open it up and see what our last pin is, if I remember right. Ooh, yes! Okay, so I think I, I remember this from the little spoilers. If it, the camera will focus, my goodness. We are being temperamental. There we go. So as we can see, it is a scene from Outlander and is absolutely stunning. The twilight with the moon and the stones. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. And it says spend time in and I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because I know I will say it wrong and somebody might get mad. So there we have it, a beautiful Sassanok Outlander pin. Last one to go on the pin banner. Next, ooh, we have a pretty little box. Ooh, and this is inspired by these violent delights, it says on the back. The stars incline us, they do not bind us. Ooh. Is something glass, it looks like, or ceramic. Oh! <gasps> Owl Crate. Did you make this just for me? Did you make this just for me and my tea? Because I really think you did. Oh my giddy aunt. So we have a little ceramic dish. Absolutely beautiful little crescent moon and it is absolutely beautiful. And we have a little, this is so clever. I've never seen a little tea steeper like this. It's a little silicone tea steeper that looks like a little tea bag and it has the designs on it. That is so cool. I can't wait to use this. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, you're just gonna sit right there. Pride of place, a tea themed item. Thank you, Owl Crate. <laughs> okay, up next, we have another cute little Owl Crate box. Spoilers. Ooh. Designed with love by Lichen and Limestone. Ooh, that is a really good company. If I can get the box open. Okay, so ooh, this is something inspired by Serpent and Dove. Ooh. It looks like we have a lot of... Um, kitchen handy items because we have salt and pepper shakers. So we have Dame Blanche and Chaser. Cheshire. So two cute ceramic salt and pepper shakers. Love the designs. Absolutely splendid. And they can look cute on a shelf too, maybe if you didn't want them as salt and pepper shakers. Just like cute little knickknacks, although I'm pretty sure that's what they're meant to be for. But let's see what it says on the back. Forbidden love and French aesthetics combine to make the perfect bookish addiction addition to your table with the ceramic salt and pepper shakers. Awesome. Ooh. Looks like next we have more goodies. A beautiful little bag. I love this. 
It says, you are the bane of my existence and the objects of all my desires. Ooh. Do -do -do. Ooh. Oh, those are cute. We have more handy kitchen items. Is this whole box kitchen themed? And now I know what was rattling in the box. We have um, some metal reusable straws. And if I can get it to focus, they are heart shaped. That is really nifty. And they also come, thankfully, with a little cleaner wand. I always think it's a bit gross when it's reusable straws and they don't include um, a cleaner because that could be really gross. But I am very grateful for that. Do -do, set those aside. Ooh, something in a beautiful, beautiful bag. I love that the stars and the moon just sparkle so prettily. Oh, I have some fun information about my channel. So I have reached enough subscribers where super chats, super thanks, and super stickers are now eligible. So if you would like to support my channel and help me grow, you can donate through super chats and I will try to make sure to give shout outs anytime you use a super chat. So those will be down below. Because recently it's like the ads on my channels haven't been doing very well. This is tricky to get out. Um, and it's supposed to be Christmas time and the ads are supposed to be really, really good. But like for some reason, instead of getting like maybe $4 a day, I'm only getting 40 cents. So if you want to help support my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Ooh, what on earth is this? So we have, a, looks like a wall hang up a bowl item. And it says, the dream chooses the dreamer. It looks like we have like little, maybe like little storage compartment to hang up. Whoops. Which of course I instantly untie. Okay, well still, I'll hold it up. Beautiful moths. I believe that quotes from Strange the Dreamer. I shall have to look at the spoiler card. So I'm just going to take a quick peek. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, Hanging Fabric Organizer. Yes, from Strange the Dreamer. Ooh, cool. Up next, ooh, we have, uh, looks like a little promo bookmark kind of thing for an upcoming book. So if you want to read the first couple of chapters, there's a little QR code for that. So that is kind of cool. Although I'm hoping they're not including this as um, like one of the items because it kind of feels like a little like freebie item. Next, we have a little brown envelope. And ooh, it looks like we have more bookmarks. So we have two. We have two gals and two gents. On the back of one, it says, your soul sings to mine, my soul is yours, and it will, it, and it always will be in any world. And then on this one, it says, tonight may be, tonight maybe we can just be Leah and Ellis. So that's two more bookmarks. I'm, I'm really kind of disappointed. For the past couple of years, they normally... And like in the November, December box, they include an ornament and they don't have one this year, which makes me a bit sad because normally they're like literary wood ornaments like this one. I even brought it to be like, hey, look, here's last year's, here's this year. But I'm a little bummed at that. Oh, well. All right. Well, we have our book for this month and I have to free it from its plastic prison. So one moment, tease. Alrighty then, now before we get to our book, I'd love it if you'd make sure to give this video a like and a comment. What was your favorite item and if this book sounds interesting to you. So first up, we have our letter from the author and this month's book, which is The Poison Season. And this cover is so gorgeous. It reminds me of like maybe a old edition of like Grimm's fairy tales. It looks so, so beautiful. And it's just like so simple. I love it. And on the back, it says the forest was speaking and the wolf 
was at her doorstep. That is super spooky and really interesting. So let's see. Ooh, we have some beautiful end papers with like swans on it. And let's see. Yes, we have a reversible dust jacket. That's how that looks. And it looks like we have a interesting little quote right here. Very nice. Oops, sorry about that. And we have a, looks like a, a heroin maybe. Very interesting. And on the back it says, every sacrifice deserved a song. Interesting. So let's see what this book has to say for itself. Outsiders are always given a choice, the forest or the lake. Either way, they are never heard from again. Ooh, that is kind of ominous. Lila has spent her entire life on Enla, coexisting with a bloodthirsty forest and respecting the poisonous lake that protects her island from outsiders who seek to destroy it. But as much as Lilo cares for her community, she struggles to accept that her younger brother will be exiled by his next birthday unless he gains the magic of enchanted song so vital to Enla. When Lilo sees a young outsider on the verge of drowning in the lake, she knows exactly what she's supposed to do, but in a moment that will change everything, she betrays her family, her best friend, and Enla by making an unthinkable choice. Discovery could lead to devastating consequences for both Lilo and the outsider, Jaren. But as they grow closer, Lilo dis realizes that not all dangers come from beyond the lake, and they can only survive if Lilo is willing to question the very fabric of her society, her people, and herself. Ooh. So, of course, we are signed by the author. Let's see if there is a map. Uh, yes, we have a map. Very nice. So, last thing we have are our newsletter and the spoiler for next month. So taking a peek at the newsletter or, ooh. So here's the Owl Crate edition and the original edition. So that's the, um, the cover that's underneath the dust jacket, which is kind of cool. So if you like um, the original cover, you have that underneath the Owl Crate edition, but I love that Owl Crate edition. Mm, stunning, absolutely perfect. Um, interview with vendor, some book prompts or reading resolutions. Um, other books similar to that, The Winterwood is a good one. I've read that one before. Um, Instagram photo challenge, Spotify playlist, other books coming out this month, and the Owl Babble coming up. And next year's, next month's theme for January 2023 is Courting the Fae. And this video is coming out so, so early I do not have any spoilers to give, except that it will have an officially licensed item from Sarah J. Mass. So that is really, really cool. But apart from that, I don't know what fandoms are in it yet. Um, when I do get that information, I'll put it in the description box down below. But for now, that is it. The last Owl Crate of 2022. What do you think? Were the items really cool? I absolutely love the little silicone tea strainer and tea dish. That is just absolutely perfect. I adore it. And mm, I hope that everybody has enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in checking out another one, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos or another vlogmas ever again. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all later. Bye!